Hi, great people. You are welcome back to Busy Court Fashion House channel. My name is Fola. Uh, we are grateful for as many that have been subscribing to this channel. And if you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe today. Thank you. Today, I want to teach you how to make a one stylish um, bustier top. To make this a uh, bustier top, so I'll be using this uh, linen fabric for this uh, project. You can use a uh, actual key. I mean, this native uh, material or any material of your choice. You can use it for it. I'll be using my. I'll be using lining. I'll be using this uh, worthy, the medium size to pad it, and uh, I'll need my hair stay. So these are the material I'll be using for it, and. Um, and this is the basic body pattern and uh, i'll be using this uh, regiline bone the one you can stitch on i'll be using it for this project and i'll be using this uh, um trimmies trimmies are click even to design it although on the on the picture it is they bid it it is bidding but just for the time sake i'll be using this a uh, three minutes so you can choose to use a uh, to bid yours so no problem um so this is the basic body pattern but we know before we move on i just want to remind you about our online corset class that is that will be starting by next week so make sure you register if you have not, um, tell others, tell your friend to, to register. So it is basically for the beginner, both the beginners and the intermediate, uh, intermediate class, even the advanced level are good to join. So you really enjoy it. So that is for that. So for this, uh, for today's topic, this is the basic body pattern. Um, the length I'll be working with, I'll be working to the hip length. So I have my, I'll be using my hip length of a 21. Actually the hip length of the person we are making this uh, project for is a 23. But for the fact that uh, two to three inches uh, peplum will be added to this uh, work. So I stop my hip on 21 inches. So the, this is the upper chest line. I use five inches as my upper chest line and the uh, um boss points boss points is a uh, the boss uh, boss point of the person is 10 inches on the bust line 13 inches waist line 16 inches and um, this is a boss a uh, boss pan nipple to nipple and nipple to nipple is a uh, seven inches I divide it by two, give us three and a half. And now an inch is being added to it as a seam allowance, making four inches. So I mark four inches here, four inches down here, and I connect it with a straight line. So let's go now. So on the on the bust, I come to this um, to my side with a two inches. I come to this side with two inches and I come to this side with a one inch. So I do the same thing on the waistline, two inches to this side, one inch to the other side. So then I measure from this waistline, I measure, for, I mean, four inches i mark four inches from the waistline i just mark it here then i connect it i connect from the under bust to the waistline with straight a uh, ruler with straight line i do the same thing this side i connect with straight line so to the so the four inches I mark down from the um, waistline, 
I mark down four inches. So I just connect, I connect to that end diagonally. I do the same thing. Then from my bust point, I connect to the under bust with my French cuff, just like this. I do the same thing this side. Yes, and on my upper uh, chest line, I come to this side with one and a half, and to this side with a uh, half an inch. So then I connect it to the both points with my French cuff. Yes. So, this is it. So, the next thing for us now is to get our horizontal measurements. The bust we are working with is 32. We divide 32 by 4. Give us 8. So this is the this is the chest line. This is the upper chest line. Why this is the chest line? Let me just rule it. So uh, it is on the chest line. The chest line is a uh, seven and a half. It's seven and a half. Get your seven and a half. This is the ammo line, seven and a half. So let's just connect it. So because it is on it, we are going to measure our bust. So the bust will be measured here. And the bust we are working with is 32. 32 divided by 4 gives us 8. So we mark. So let's rule, let's rule it to the end. Seven and a half. Let me just leave it. This is upper chest line. This is chest line. So, the boss we are working with is a 8 inches. That's 2 divided by 4. We get our 8 inches here. 8 inches. Then, whatever we are having inside here, we measure it. We are having 3 quarter here. That is 0 0.75. We return it. 0 0.75. Then we get our seam allowance of uh, two inches. That is for the bust. So on the waist, the this is the waistline, and the waist we are working with is 28. 28 divided by four give us seven. We get our seven inches here. We return whatever we are having inside here. Inside here, we are having three inches. We return it three inches. Then we get our two inches uh, seam allowance. Then on the hip, the hip measurements we are working with is uh, 36. When we divide 36 by uh, 4, it gives us 9. So on the hip line, we measure 9 inches. 9 inches then on the hip line we can make our um, seam allowance to be two and a half so we collect so as you are seeing it now never mind that see, the hip is looking smaller than the waist by the time we remove this everything will uh, come together so we connect it we connect from hip to the to the waist. Then we connect from the waist to the bust. Yes. So the for the upper chest, the upper chest of the clients we are working with, you know, the our chest is a 32. So our upper chest is 30. <coughs> we have to consider our upper chest too. 
So the upper chest is 30. When we divide it by 4, it gives us 7 and a half. So on this upper chest line, let me extend the upper chest line as well, which is a 5 inches. So we get 7 and a half on this upper chest line. Then whatever we are having inside here, we are having 2 inches inside here. We measure the 2, we return the 2 inches. Then we get seam allowance of a 2 inches. So we connect it. Yes, this is it. So the next thing for us is to cut it out. We don't, we don't have anything to do with this uh, remaining half, in, I mean 5 inches of here. We don't need it. We are not, it's still okay, but we don't need it. So all we need is this we have drawn. Here, ensure that you blend this end. Don't let it be as sharp as this. Blend this end. And here as well. Blend it. Blend all those areas that could want to bring out a sharp. So we assume that this is your fabric and it is on food. Even if you cut your paper, non fold Ensure that when you are cutting your fabric, you let it be on fold. So this is it now. So this is what we are going to use to cut out our fabric. Because it is after we have joined our fabric together that we are going to, you know, draw out our armor. So as it is, this is what we are going to use to cut out our fabric, cut out the lining and the um EST cut out the EST then the same way but you are, when you are cutting out your body let your body be just from like a let it be from like nine inches to your under off from a, like eight inches to your under bust that is for the padding we want to draft the back cut of our stylish bustier top. And to achieve that, for the back, we'll be stopping the measurements on the waistline, which is a 16 and a half. Because we extended it to, to hip region in the front cut, because the top is going to have a basque vet. That is in just in the front, and the basket vest is just going to be in the front. So now we are having 16 inches, 16 and a half inches, which is our half a back, the waistline. So now we have a this is a seven and a half, which is our chest line. The I mean the line at which the bust is going to be measured, seven and a half. Then bust span line, 10 inches. This is it. Then I consider our bust span, which is a four inches uh, that we have in the front. So I consider it, I mark four inches, four inches down here, then I connect it. That is where our dart will be determined. And I have one inch here, one inch, one inch, I rule it down, which is a zipper allowance here. So now, the next thing for us to do is to, on this uh, line now, on this bus span um, line, I come to the right and to the left with a half, half an inch, half an inch here, half an inch here. Then on this line, I come down with just one inch. Then I connect it to this uh, half, half, inch so now i want to measure the i want to take the horizontal measurements now i will be taking my uh, bust measurement on this chest line 
the bust measurement we are working with is 32. We divide 32 by 4. It gives us a 8 inches. Then, seam allowance of a 1 and a half a inches. Then, this line you are seeing here is a ham old line, which is a 7 and a half. 7 and a half. Then, I measure the waist. So, I won't bother about this up part because we don't really need this uh, up part. The waist now. The waist we are working with is uh, 28. We divide 28 by 4. Give us 7. So, we measure 7 on this line. 7 inches. We return this 1 inch that. We return it 1 inch. Then, we have our one and a half a seam allowance then we connect the bust to the uh, waist now we we would like to shape our back a bit just a little bit so and to achieve that on this uh, chest line i will just come down by one inch one inch then i connect it to this uh, bust uh, measurements just connect it this way to the main measurement before the um, the seam allowance, just like this. So then I shape my back. I shape the back by coming out of this line by with just a quarter of an inch. Then I connect it slantly to the uh, shoulder line. Yes. I extend this to this end. Yes, so this is the the back cut now. So the next thing is for me to to cut it out. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, notch this uh, that this that I just notch it. That's the way I'll just notch it in my fabric so that I will know where to where my dad will be head. And mind you, the, your fabric should be on fold as you are cutting it. This is single paper, but when you are cutting, let ensure that your fabric is uh, on fold. So I just cut it out. So if you like, you can leave your back straight if you don't want any uh, coffee shape at the back. As well, you can come down more than this if you like. So this is the template I'll be using to cut out the back now. So now we have uh, cut out our fabric. We have uh, gum our hair stay and the, it has been padded. It has been neatly padded. So and the, the lining has been cut out the same, uh, the same way. I just chose to use the same fabric for the center lining. So this is the lining. And the uh, the back we have cut out the back we have uh, yesterday it this is the the back of it has been yesterday and the lining has been cut out the same uh, the same way so the next thing for us now is uh, is to go and join it we are going to join the lining and the fabric together first of all we join the upper part and with a half an inch and top stitch it we do the same thing to the second one then for the for the front uh, cut we are going to join our dart by joining it from down parts to help with half an inch we are going to join it with half an inch to the up, uh, upper region we do this side that we will do the second dart the same way and we do the same thing to the um, lining so that's the next thing to go and do so now i've uh, joined the the lining and the fabric of the back cut together and i've top stitch it and i've had my darts separately i had the dart of the main fabric and the lining separately so now for the front cut now i've uh, joined it together with a half an inch i've joined the dots together so you can see this is the main fabric and the 
I've done the same thing to the lining. And there, there is something I want to bring you to your notice in this uh, front coat. If you look at this uh, lining, I deliberately left it so that you can see it. So you can see that this, um, by the underbust area, you will see something like side uh, that. It will be obvious after ironing your dart. You'll be seeing something like this. So you need to hold this dart. And this is what I've done in the main fabric. You hold the dart and the, you iron it up. You iron it up. So why, before you even hold the dart, you can, your ironing will even tell you what to do. By the time you are ironing, you can see that ironing has, a, you know, make this one obvious. So this is it. So I'll just go ahead and do what I did here. I will do it in the line. This thing I did here, you can actually have done that while drafting your pattern by, you know, creating your, your side that. But if you don't do that while drafting, you can you call it do it after you have joined it together. Nothing spoiled. It's even, you know, beautify the side of the dress. So the next thing I want to do now is to, you know, uh, draw out my hammer. So we draw out our hammer by folding our um, bodies. You fold it. You know, when we were drafting, we came up with a uh, five inches. So actually, this five inches that I came up with, you can do yours four inches. So four inches, four and a half, or five inches. So I want to get my hammer line now. Then your hammer line, seven to eight inches. Let me make it eight inches. Then now you get the the wideness of your of your neckline now. The wideness uh, the wideness of our neckline is a uh, five inches. I want to make it five inches. Let me make it four and a half. I'm good with four and a half. You can make it between four to five inches. So. So after getting my hammer, our bodies as a bask effect. So we get our bask effect before we lose the, before we remove our pin. So and to achieve that, the bask effect is starting from the waist, you know, the waistline. So, and you know, this is armor, uh, which is a armor line, which is eight inches. Then we get our half length. We do. We will not really get to the to the half length. We'll be in between. So we get our our half length is sixteen inches. So we can make it. We can stop at fifteen inches. Fifteen inches. Then we connect it to the center center of our top to get our basque effect. So this is it. Then we, I cut it. So I lose my pin. Even to now, this is it. So the next thing I want to draw out now is a mono stripe uh, stylish uh, look. I'll use this uh, French cuff to get my uh, stylish uh, monostrap uh, look so and to achieve that i place my cuff this way from the uh, hammer because this side will be your will be, be will be the left side in your body so that is what we are targeting on I mean, the left side of the body so first of all, do the, don't try to do both the lining and the fabric together. Do it separately so that you won't, it's not as if you can't do it together, but so that you won't get confused. So I will now take my, my line and first of all, get the arm hole of my line.
place my lining wrong side way face the wrong side this way. so what i will do now is that i place this that i cut out from the main fabric i place it on the line this way so all you need to do is to ensure that wrong side is facing the wrong side I place it this way. I can even pin it down so that it won't shift. This is it now. I will cut out the basque side of the line. We'll bring that later. So the next thing is to now draw out where our trimmings will be fixed. So I want to get the center of my bodies. So by placing my tape measure on the on the center part of the bodies. So on the center part of the bodies, we are having like five and a half. So I divide it into two. I get a two three quarter. So I mark two three quarter. Uh. So this is the center. So on this center, I come to the left and the right by half half. So this is what I want to. This is the line where i will mark my line even to fix my um three minutes now if it is bidding you are doing so it is on this line that we are creating now that you will you know uh, put your bidding so for this up part now i get the i get the center i get the center three quarter then i come to the left and the right with one quarter one quarter you know for the for this uh, midpoint, I come to the left and right with half a finch. But for the upper part, one quarter here, one quarter here, I do the same thing at the down part. One quarter to this side, one quarter to this side from the center. So that is what I will use to connect this uh, center part. Just this way. So on the on the that that line, I'll fix uh, another three minutes on it. You beat the that line, so that one there is no need the drawing line on it. It's already obvious. So we do that. Then we get like a two inches to this side, one and a half to two inches to this side. We do the same thing here. We draw another line, so as the fabric permits you. So you get another line. You do the same thing by this side. That's how you will fix your trimmings or do your beading. So that is for that. So after joining the lining of the uh, front bodies to the uh, main fabric, so I will apply this uh, uh, border applique. I mean trimmings, the bold one. I will apply it up here. So if it is beading you are doing, so you do your beading up here too so after joining the lining and the fabric together so let your beading be be bothered if the beading you do here is like half an inch let this uh, um front part be like one inch so after joining the the lining and the fabric together at the whole part here and your top stitch so ensure that you put your bony so what you do here is that the upper part of your lining, you mark half an inch, half an inch, you mark it, draw it this way. That is where your regular bone will be fixed, leaving half an inch by the side here for the joining of the, I mean, for this side you leave like two inches. So for, for this side, you leave like a, half an inch for this side so that's where your regular bone will be you will sew it the regular bone is the one you can stitch on you just put it this way that is after i prefer doing that after joining the lining and the fabric together we have joined the um lining and the fabric together and the if you look at the inside the we have the boning has been you know stitched on the lining by the neckline before we join the lining and the fabric together we have fixed our 
uh, trimmings on the bodies. But if it is um, bidding you are doing, you are good to do that after you have joined the uh, lining and the fabric together. So you can see how beautiful it looks. And uh, for the bony, you can you can fix bony by the armor here, but that one is not too compulsory in this uh, project. This is the compulsory one because so all we are trying to use the bony for here is to give it the structure. So I and we can see that it's already having the desired structure. So the next thing for us is to add this to the neckline. Just add when we are when we want to add it, you don't need to add it to, um, I mean stitch it together with the lining as well. You can open your fabric like this and uh, stitch it on the material, uh, on the real fabric, just this way. So this one is optional anyway. If you like, you can put it here. So the next thing is for you to join the, the front and back together. So um, as you can see that, uh, you know, our half back is 16 and a half, just the way it is. It was in the front. But you know, by the time we are shaping our bask, we, we made use of 15 inches. That is why it's, uh, uh, the back is longer here. So by the time we now join it, we are going to shape our back a bit too. So we shape our back from like here to meet the center back here. So that is how we will place, you know, we will join our peplum, that short peplum. So that's the way we are going to join it to it. So by the time I join the back and front together, so there will be a little excess, which I will trim out, which I will have to cut out, but it's going to be in form of a shaping. It will give this coffee uh, type of a, uh, at the back here. After joining the front and back together, so you are good to, then we close this uh, down part. So for this side, for this side, I will be adding side uh, short peplum to this side. We are done with our top. The flared uh, part has been attached to one side of the, of the top. And see how beautiful it looks. This is the back feel. If you want your flare to go round, you are good to do that. Um, I had a, a bony here to give it more structure and the, because of the basque vet so that it will not be folding in your body. And uh, I want to remind you that our online corset classes the registration is still on so you are good to register because we will be kicking off by next week 26th of uh, april 2022 so try to register if you want to learn more about uh, corsets and uh, you tell your friends also so i'm sure you have enjoyed this video so like it share with your friends drop your comment on the comment section and uh, subscribe to this channel thanks for watching see you next time